So this time, as you'll be able to see, it's the same boiler. It's a Platinum or a Duotech. Only we have the ERP pump on this one. And because the body is slightly different on the ERP pump, it basically means we have to remove this, which is only two screws to be quite truthful, which is that one there and that one just above the PRV, if you can see him. And then we can get onto the hydraulic inlet assembly and take him out. So, as mentioned previously, if we're looking at this one, we isolate the cold mains and I can't emphasize it enough guys and girls, please make sure that your hot and cold aren't crossed over. So cold mains off. If you've got an integral filling loop, open him up and you do not want to see the pressure rising or the sound of water going past there. Because if you do hear that, it basically means it is crossed over. Okay, so make sure Again, for the sake of turning that off and just doing that, you know 100% that turning the cold mains off has isolated the water to the boiler, okay? Because we're gonna remove the pump on the ERP one, what we should do as well is isolate the return and also the flow as well. And then with, um, I don't know, a bit of manometer tube maybe, stick him on the, the drain off there, open your drain off into a bucket and drop the pressure to zero. So once you've got your pressure to zero and also you've got your cold mains off and you know that the hot and cold aren't crossed over, that's when we can lower the panel down. And then like I say, all we're doing to remove the pump is just undo that one and take him out and that one just there. And we get on them screws there. to one side for a second and if we just give the pump a bit of a wiggle and a pull there we go and then we can pop the pump down there okay so now we can see the hall effect sensor okay and if we just push the return pipe out the way a little bit now we'll be able to get our socket on the top all right so hall effect sensor off again it's worth mentioning as well that the wires for the Hall Effect sensor go in from the bottom, okay? Because if you've had that dangling down for a while and you're doing all your bits and pieces and you're cleaning your O-rings or changing them and greasing them up, then you might get it and, you know, accidentally put it on like that, okay? Because it does fit that way, but now you can see the wires are going in from the top. So basically what you've done is you put your Hall Effect. So the Hall Effect, as I mentioned in a previous video, is that little black square there okay so if you put them on upside down like that now you can see the hall effect is slightly it's probably around about here instead of around about here okay so why is in from the bottom like so so hall effects off so we've got the cold mains off we know it's not crossed and again we get our socket on there so 18 mil six-sided socket fits lovely on there and we get turning And in true fashion, just as you're in the middle of something, someone's phoning me. Right, now we can see the black O-ring. Let's pop him off. There we go, we can take him out, okay? And again, we've got the spring inside because this one is also off a Duotech or a Platinum. But the only difference between this one and the previous one is this is an ERP and the one I did before was a non-ERP. So on the ERP ones, I always used to take the pumps out so that I can get a better fit on top of there then okay and you just obviously we assemble him in reverse order I'll stick him on there we'll tighten him down get him on easy he's on we got a hall effect on Wires in from the bottom, remember? And then we can get our pump, chuck our return pipe over, couple of screws. So that's how I used to go about changing them on the ERP ones. So what I'll do now is I'll take a hydraulic inlet assembly 
out of a turbine type one as well. So I'll take it out of a 600 or an 800. So give me two seconds, I'll go and grab an 800 and uh, we'll have a look at the difference then. So I'll have both of them on the table. We can see the spring type, the float switch or the bobbin type um, and the turbine type as well. So give me two seconds and I'll be with you. 